Hello, hey family. I'm coming with a quick prophetic word and I want to let some people know by the title, um, some will be, will fall astray. You might say, how am I going to fall astray? I am at the top of my game. I have God with me. I know who I am in Christ, but this is how, and this is why. This word is coming from Zechariah. This is chapter 11, verse 16. This is what the word of God says. For behold, I am going to raise up a false shepherd in the land who would not care for the perishing, seek the scattered, heal the broken, or feed the or feed the healthy, but will eat the flesh, will eat the flesh of the fat ones and tear off their hooves to consume everything. Whoa, judgment is coming to the worthless and foolish shepherd who desert the flock. The sword will strike his arm and his right eye, and his arm shall be totally withered, and his right eye completely blinded, okay? Now, why is this? Because the false shepherd is risen up because a lot of people did not believe the true shepherd. They have not believed the true prophet. They have not taken any of the warnings to heart. They look at it, and they think it's a game, and they much rather... Um, make the, the messenger or the prophet feel like they don't know what they're talking about before they believe the word of God. And God said, okay, since that's how you want to do it, I'll send you someone that only cares about the prosperity, blessing, blessing, blessings, giving you, telling you whatever that you want to hear, even if it never come to pass, I'll allow you to have that person that's not telling you right from wrong, not telling you what God is about to do, not warning you, not correcting you. He said, and since you don't like that, since that's a problem, I'm going to raise up someone on purpose to send you astray. So that's why I wanted y'all to know that it's very important that when a word comes, there's something hard or you don't want to hear or you don't like it does not mean it's not from God and for you. It's always a chance to self-evaluate, uh, self-check. That's what this is all about. We're not perfect. So we're going to be striving for perfection till we die. It's always something that we can do because we are human and we are we're in the world that's, that's run by Satan. That God is over, but Satan's domain. So therefore, there's always room for it uh, better and to do better. So because of that, because of some of you that have said, oh, that's not God. Who are you to say this? Who are you to say that? When it has been God, you will come into the path of someone that will tell you whatever you want to hear, whether it's from God or not. And God has allowed it. But then once he does that out of his evilness, not God's evilness, out of that shepherd, that false shepherd evilness for actually doing that, then he woe to him. He will be punished. So I want you guys to know that that's where we are at right now. So when you hear somebody that's always telling you everything that you like versus somebody that don't tell you nothing that you want to hear, you need to look, read the Bible and see who's the one that's really, really doing what it is that they supposed to be doing. Who's the one that's sending you up to heaven, the true prophet? And who's the one that's telling you whatever you want to hear that's sending you down to hell because he doesn't care because she doesn't care because they're not the true prophet. So you're going to hear everything that you want to hear versus whatever you really need to hear. So I love you guys. And I'm just letting y'all know it's a real thing. Amen.